Hello. We've got a really mixed bag of weather types across Europe over the coming few days, with some of us seeing some warm sunshine and elsewhere some heavy thundery downpours. You can see this swirl of cloud on the satellite image here. This is an area of low pressure moving up towards the UK, some heavy showers there. We've also had torrential thundery downpours across parts of France, which are now going to be edging their way gradually further eastwards into central and eastern parts of Europe. Sunday's weather does quieten down across Portugal and Spain. A lot of dry weather here with some sunshine, 26 Celsius in Madrid. So temperatures a little below average, but tending to warm up. And then as we move across France and then into Germany, some heavy downpours here stretching towards the likes of Austria as well. And further east across Europe, some fairly heavy rain pushing into western parts of Russia, sinking down towards Romania as well. Heavy showers and thunderstorms. Much of Greece are looking dry and settled. One or two of those heavy showers, though, pushing in towards parts of Turkey. And Monday, a similar story. It's looking largely dry towards Iberia, but some heavy showers into parts of Italy, Croatia, across the Balkans, towards Romania and Western Russia as well. But much of Scandinavia looking very hot. Temperatures certainly on the rise up to around 29, possibly 30 degrees across parts of Scandinavia. One or two showers in both London and Paris through the middle of the week. But Madrid and Rome looking dry, warm and sunny. Largely dry for the next four days or so in Berlin, but potential for some heavy showers later in the week. Bye bye. Hello there. Tropical storm Nuri is bringing some really heavy rain to the southeast of China as it makes landfall in Guangdong. Not a particularly powerful storm. It already brought a lot of rain for the Philippines. It's moving across the South China Sea. You can see that large area of cloud on the satellite image. So to the north of that, we've got the Mayu front bringing some heavy rain across the east of China and for, particularly for Japan on Sunday. Really wet day across much of Japan. To the north of that, it is hot and humid in Beijing, around about 35 Celsius, turning hotter at times through the coming week in Beijing and also quite humid with some rain for Shanghai. We have got the remnants of that tropical storm still bringing all that wet weather to the far southeast of China. There could be some flooding problems there and further showers across the Philippines and for Indonesia as well. In Tokyo then after a pretty wet day to come on Sunday it is turning drier as we head through the rest of the week warming up a little bit too. Beijing hot dry and quite humid. High pressure holding on for central and western parts of Australia. We've still got some heavy rain lingering in the east particularly around southern parts of Queensland. Quite blustery with showers for Victoria and also Tasmania, parts of South Australia too. High pressure holding on across much of New Zealand through the day on Sunday. One or two showers around the North Island, but rain will move in from the west as we head through the new working week. So one or two showers around over the next few days in Sydney. Largely dry in Auckland, but some rain later in the week. Bye-bye. Hello. The southwest monsoon has been pushing its way northwards. It's just about where we'd expect for this time of year, bringing some heavy rain to much of western India in particular. You can see all the cloud that we've had on the satellite image. A lot of cloud too pushing across to parts of Bangladesh and Myanmar as well. But it's really down the west coast of India into central and northern parts that we'll see the heaviest of the rain over the next couple of days. In fact, over the next five days, there could be about 400 millimetres of rain for some parts of the west coast of India, including up towards Mumbai. Could cause a few flooding issues there. Meanwhile, heading further northwest into central parts of Asia, lots of dry weather, one or two showers around central and eastern parts of Kazakhstan, but for much of Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan as well, it is hot, it is dry, with sunshine extending across Afghanistan and Pakistan too. But then we're back into those heavy torrential downpours across the northwest of India, right down the west coast as well for Ger Goa and Kerala, some heavy showers. Sri Lanka, the showers fairly few and far between, but there will be some heavy ones developing later in the day. Heavy showers too for West Bengal and across Bangladesh. So Mumbai keeping that rain over the next five days or so heavy at times with some thunderstorms mixed in too. Islamabad looking hot and dry temperatures around 40 Celsius here. And it is hot but not quite as hot as it has been for Tashkent. More showers for Nur Sultan. Bye bye. Hello there. There's a lot of dry weather in store for much of North America through the course of the weekend, but we do have an elevated to critical fire threat across portions of the Great Basin and the interior southwest too, down to the fact that low pressure sits across the Rockies. Meanwhile, high pressure for the Great Lakes and that combination of pressure systems means we've got these strong and blustery winds combined with low humidity and also some dry thunderstorms across the region. So there is that 
elevated to critical fire threat for some. Meanwhile, we've got cooler, more unsettled conditions moving into western parts of Canada and across the Rockies too. So Washington State and Oregon seeing some of those showers. You can see those brisk winds blowing up towards the northern plains through the day on Saturday. A few showers across parts of the mountains towards the southwest, but much of California looking dry and warm too. There'll be some heavy showers and some thunderstorms reaching Winnipeg through the day on Monday. Denver looking warm and dry, but those gusty winds certainly and that elevated fire threat. Now, we have got some showers still affecting parts of the East Coast, really anywhere through Florida, Georgia, and also for West Virginia as well. We could see some of those heavy showers, but it's drier up towards New York, Montreal as well, although temperatures at the moment on the cool side in the Northeast, it will be warming up. So highs on the rise for Toronto and for New York. Plenty of sunshine for many cities in the East. Bye-bye. Hello. Let's take a look at the weather across Central America and South America too. And after the recent heavy rain we've seen across Chile, there's been a, a bit of a respite over the past few days. Still, though, more cloud bringing outbreaks of rain rolling into southern parts of Chile through the day on Saturday. Some heavy snow over the southern Andes, rain down at lower levels. Meanwhile, to the north of that, relatively cool conditions in store for much of Argentina, Buenos Aires just 13 Celsius or so. Further north across South America, plenty of heavy showers as we'd expect for parts of Colombia, Venezuela too. Drier through the Amazon basin, but for southern Brazil, this line of heavy rain is going to be lingering. So that's going to push its way northwards towards Rio de Janeiro later in the weekend. To the south of that, we have got largely dry conditions, but fairly chilly through central Argentina. More cloud and rain now starting to move in for southern Chile. So Rio de Janeiro will see the arrival of that rain, bringing some cooler conditions through the first part of the new week, but then it'll turn drier and warmer again later in the week. We've got a lot of dry settled weather for northern parts of Mexico, but further south around the Bay of Campeche and for the Yucatan Peninsula, plenty of heavy downpours, heavy rain too for parts of Costa Rica and for Panama, and some scattered heavy showers developing across central parts of the Caribbean on Saturday. Some sunshine in between, but it does look showery with some thunderstorms in Havana. Drier conditions on the cards for Kingston. Bye for now. Hello. Thanks for joining me for this look at the weather across all of Africa and the Middle East too. And we'll start with the satellite image, which shows we've had some big shower clouds across some equatorial and central parts of Africa. They're tending to ease away, so some slightly lighter showers in store over the next few days. I think the heaviest of the downpours probably towards the west around the Gulf of Guinea as well. Now, further south, quite chilly conditions holding on for much of southern Africa. Some rain pushing towards southern South Africa, I think, through the course of Sunday as well. Towards North Africa, a lot of dry weather, but we've got a fairly cool northerly breeze blowing around coastal parts of Libya and Egypt too. Cape Town likely to see some of those showers through the day on Sunday, but then through the course of the coming week, things do turn a little bit warmer and drier too. Plenty of sunshine in store there. Hot and dry in Khartoum. Sunny spells in store for Casablanca, Kinshasa and also for Lusaka too. Meanwhile, let's look at the weather across the Middle East now. And we've got a few showers in store for parts of Turkey on Sunday, but it's looking drier for Syria into Iran and Iraq as well. And we have got plenty of sunshine sinking down towards Saudi Arabia, where it's dry and settled. Dry too for Oman and for Yemen. But if we take a look at the winds, we will see those Shamal winds picking up across the Gulf. And that could bring some dusty conditions to Kuwait and to Saudi Arabia too. But it is looking hot and dry for Baghdad, Dubai, Riyadh and Tel Aviv. Bye-bye.